Say, so, uh, another day of feeding, giving back. Over here where most people don't come, but a lot have started to come. Um, we need to step up, you know. This is a brother that I know. Uh, I believe his name is Ed. And as you see the sign right here, it says Jesus loves you. So, you know, Jesus loves everybody. God loves everybody, no matter what you believe in. Um, this is me talking to Gina uh, while I'm feeding. And, you know, Gina slash Dina, you know, she's very important to me. Uh, she had got some good news and she had started telling me about it. I told her to hold on, let me finish feeding the people inside the homeless area. And uh, I was going to come back and uh, have a good conversation with her. And it's actually a real good conversation. Um, it just shows you the goodness of uh, communication and what me and other people did to help her get her story out there. And yeah, um, but as you see, uh, I'm continuing to feed through the camp. You know, making connections, speaking to the people that I've, you know, got used to talking to on a regular basis. Um, sometimes I see these people four, five, six, ten days straight, and maybe a day or two will go in between. But uh, I've built rapports with most of the, most of the people over here because most of the people that live right here on Fair Oaks and How, they've been here for years, for years. Um, yeah, they've been here a lot longer than COVID. So. Uh, Homelessness is a problem that really needs to be addressed. And we gotta start by helping them with their drug habits and everything. It ain't just about feeding them. I'm not just feeding them, I'm telling them where they can go get drug rehab and everything. I'm telling them that I'll give them rides because I mean what I say. Uh, I don't stretch myself thin, but I just put myself out there to help. And I let them know that, here, I give them a business card. If you're able to call me and you need some help, call me. You know, if you're stranded somewhere, call me. And that's just what we're supposed to do. I will get up out of my bed in the middle of the night and go pick one of these people up if they needed a ride. Just want to show them that they matter and give them that hope and give them that love that everybody should be given. You know, you don't have to do what I'm doing, but you need to do something. And nobody is doing nothing. And that's just what it is. There are over 330 million people in America. And I can say it's probably a million or two million people that are actively doing something to try to make a change in this world. That's a small percentage of the people that are in this country. That's a small percentage of the people that need to step up in this country. You know, we, you know, we the people is what it says in the Constitution. We is a powerful word. I can only do so much. But we can make a change that people never expected. We can come together and change the whole narrative, you know, um, and we have to. You know, I, I'm talking to Gina right now and we're having a good conversation. And she gives me the revelation that her talking to the mass media out here in Sacramento and then that being a light towards the videos that I made with Gina and of Gina, her family came and contacted her because uh, I hadn't been over there in a couple of days because there was a sickness uh, in one, with one of my family members. But uh, anyway, um, she was telling me that uh, her family contacted her, that her daughter came and that her grandbaby and, you know, people came over there and talked to her and they did an intervention and then they took her to a restaurant that's right down the street on Fair Oaks. And uh, they sat in there with her for hours and, uh, you know, it made me overjoyed that uh, her her journey over here on Fair Oaks and Howe is coming to an end. And Dina is a good woman. I've really sat down and talked to this woman. She's educated. Uh, she's done a lot of good and she does a lot of good over here, as I point out. And that's why me and her have that bond. It's a genuine bond because she's a genuine person. And, you know, I have to keep pointing out homelessness does not make you a bad person. It doesn't mean that you don't have morals. It just means that you don't have a house. Now, are there people over here abusing drugs or wherever the homeless camps are? I'm pretty sure of it. Are people using alcohol or whatever or doing illicit behaviors? I'm pretty sure of it. They're living on the streets. It's, uh, you know, dog eat dog world. The strong survive. But at the end of the day, it's about, you know, bringing attention to this situation. And then when you bring attention come physically help and then when you come physically help look online and figure out ways where you can get people funding and whatever and as you see i'm talking to city that's one of the brothers that i interviewed um unfortunately like i said he had been voted off the island because uh he was doing things that you don't do and they let him come back after a little bit of time it's like a punishment basically and he's back now in the orange tent right next to dina's um 
I'm interchanging with him. I'm kind of disappointed in him, but uh, at the end of the day, it's not my judgment call to make any judgment on him. That's my personal opinion because I did go out of my way to help that brother. But nevertheless, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go out of my way to continue to help him still. And when I go back over there today, I'm going over there. Um, I'm going to talk to him and pull him to the side and, you know, remind him of all the programs that I had helped him get in, 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 into and tell him that he can still go get into them programs and I will take him over there again like I did last time and help him sign the papers, everything. Um, that's what we're supposed to do. As a people, we're supposed to help people. I wanted help. I didn't get help. So now I know people need help. I'm giving help. And, you know, and I'm not vindictive or nothing. It's just about stepping out and giving help. If nobody helps, then our world is going to fall to shit. My kids is going to be living in a world that is horrible. So we have to help. You don't want your kids living in a messed up situation or destitution. I'm damn sure not going to have my children living like that. So that means that we need to step up to the plate, you know, and do what we got to do. I hug Gina and I'm finna go finish feeding. And as I step off, I let her know, you know, I love you. And that's genuine. Um, I had talked to her a little bit more and I was about to leave. And as I was leaving, I had already noticed this gentleman when I pulled up. He called me and he approached me. I don't remember his name, but I will find out. Um, and he asked me if I was part of an organization. I told him I had my own little movement I was creating and I'm just by myself. And he said, oh, yeah, they they mentioned, you know, I mentioned to him that I come over every day and he concurred it. Basically, I don't want to say nothing out of place. And he actually was trying to hand me money. I told him I don't take money. And he said, nah, brother, you over here doing something good. He put the money in the heat conserver bag. I put it in the back seat. I actually forgot it was there for two days, but I took that money and went and bought food. I'm actually going to go feed macaroni, uh, homemade macaroni over there today with the shit, that, with the money that he gave me. <laughs> Excuse my language, but uh, like I said, with the money he gave me, I'm going to take and go feed some people today. And I really appreciate this man. I'm going to do my diligence and find out who he is. God bless.